What happens when you throw together the very best wakeboarders and water ski jump skiers in the world? $35,000 worth of cash prize, a whole host of amped up crowd, a pinch of FMX and a big old party atmosphere or you get the very best water sports action event in the world. Liquid Leisure presents the Plastic Playgrounds and Naughty London Night Jump. Welcome to Liquid Leisure in sunny old England, just outside the nation's capital, where we have quite the day of water-based activity. The 11th Nautique London Night Jump is going to kick off later on today, and we have already got our very first Plastic Playgrounds qualifying rounds rolling in the background. Now, to help this day work smoothly, I have got a whole host of MCs. Nick and Johnny out back are taking care of the qualifying, but I'm, uh, well, Host extraordinaire, Mr. Clint Liddy is joining us here in the UK for the very first time. Welcome to England, welcome to Liquid Leisure. Give me your first thoughts. Hey Matty, I'm super happy to be here for sure. I mean, check out the setup yesterday in training. Absolutely incredible setup for the plastic playgrounds. On top of that, the motocross stuff that's gonna be going on, Brand Village, um, Night Jump, the London Night Jump, it's absolutely incredible. And for me, plastic playgrounds is pushing limits. I mean, you get these events that the features are coming more and more into focus. And I mean, on one lake here, we've got 17 features set up. Um, the pool gap that's set up over here from the kicker into the pool, absolutely massive. We're gonna see boys put a lot of risk out there. They're putting their body on the line. And um, it's, it's events like this that push the sport forwards and I'm grateful to be a part of it. Now there's the uh, features riding on the full cable, as we've already mentioned. We also have the vert contest, which is a first for the UK. There's only a few of them in the UK, so not many people getting to play on them. I have had the pleasure of playing on them. Sometimes it's not always been a pleasure. It can hurt. Talk us through what it's about. Talk us through what we can expect to see. We'll set up on like a two tower system with that quarter pipe from Unit Park Tech. We're going to see the boys hammering into the kick of full speed shooting up and out the top. They're, like I said before, they're putting their body on the line. There's a lot of risk into it. And I mean, if you're getting six, seven, eight feet in the air and smashing into the bottom side of that quarter pipe, that's gonna hurt. But at the same time, the intensity of the spins they're gonna be putting on there, um, that's good to watch. So basically I would say like this skate park, floating skate park setup, the plastic playgrounds with the quarter pipe incorporated, um, absolutely amazing. Have you seen much jump skiing? Have you seen it at night? I haven't seen much jump skiing at all and um, I watched a little bit of training yesterday, spoke to the couple of the boys, they're hammering into that kicker at like 70 miles per hour, they've got to suck up the landing and uh, to do all that at the night time, to, to get that approach and I, I think it's absolutely crazy and I'm really looking forward to the crowd and how they're going to take it. other rock paper scissors it was a four-man rock paper scissors ollie schooled them he got to start out last so we went from 16 this is the best four king of vert 2014 with the plastic playgrounds let's get into the finals here we go all eyes on the water ladies and gentlemen the finals for the king of vert 2014 by liquid leisure plastic playground brent priestley up first three hits best hit counts here we go Switching, left foot forward, coming at it fast on the heel side. Yeah. Oh. Slipping out, little bit on the back seat, in the back seat on that one. Five thousand dollars up for grabs here. Top three get money. So this is where it counts, the money round. Bretton Priestley, first hit down. Unfortunately, slipped out. Hit number two. Again, up and out. Yeah. Oh. oh, a little too fast on that one, sliding out. Ladies and gentlemen, he needs you right now. Make some noise for Brenton Priestley. One more hit 
for Brent Priestley here in the finals. Like I said, put him in the corner. He's dangerous. On the hillside, shooting out of the top. Oh, slipping out in the back seat. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen. Brent Priestley putting it all on the line. Keep in mind, if all four riders do crash three times in a row, it's going to go the golden goal. Whoever sticks it first will get the points. All right, let's see what Nico's got for us. Obviously very talented on the snowboard and on the wakeboard. And here we go, coming in hot. Oh! Yeah, there's that backside air. So can you say style? That was ridiculous. Poking it out. That's what our judges are looking for. All right, so let's see if Nico can put down this backside air. Loads of style. Here we go. In on his toes. There it is. Tweaking it out. Very nice. That's what we want to see. That's one of my favorite tricks that we've seen all day. Getting that nice method grab, but really poking it out up the top of his uh, of his jump. So loads of good stuff. He's got one third and final hit. Please make some noise for Nico von Lackenfeld. Oh, and just having a little dead sailor on that one, poking it round, just airing it out. He's st he'll be stoked with that backside air though, right? Yeah, you can definitely see the, the expression in his face, the emotion in his face. Obviously, feeling you guys out there helps him as well. I was super stoked on that method as well, like boning it out, not just grabbing it, but well in control. So, ladies and gentlemen, one more time for Nico von Lackenfeld. Put your hands together. Mad skills without a doubt. Daniel Grant, his first attempt from three, coming out of toe side. Whoa! Oh, Ooh, oh laying his oh, way out as well. I have no idea how he landed that. Look at his face. Neither does he. You can't believe it. That was wow. outstanding. Catching the coping on the way down, spinning backside, oh, laying the handle over his head, riding out of it. Hit number two, Daniel Grant. That is massive, Yee! ladies and gentlemen. Put your hands together for Daniel Grant, turning it on here in the King of Earth Finals. Daniel the Cat. <laughs> That's it, Nico just said it as well. Daniel the Cat, it doesn't matter what happens. Basically, he lands on his feet somehow. One more hit, hit number three here in the finals. He wants the money. So that's how you combine two tricks, ladies and gentlemen. You do a melon air, rock to fakie. There it is. So Daniel, going all out here in this final, no doubt. A little bit loose, but who cares? It was freaking awesome. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen. Daniel Grant, kids got skills. All right, Ollie Jerome, last rider, ready to rock. Ollie Jerome, as we found out, is also a king of rock, paper, scissors. So, we'll see what he can throw out on this quarter pipe. He's seen what our riders have put down. And here we go, in on his toes, boosting out, solid 360. No issues with that one. Oh, that was switch. All right, thank you for the update. So that was a switch three out of that quarter pipe. Yeah, I, that sounds horrifically scary. Switch toe side into a quarter pipe the size of that. That's terrifying. So here we go. Second hit. Ollie Rome. In we go. Air it out. Oh my goodness, Ollie. That was ridiculous. Ollie the Cat de Rome. We thought we saw some feline skills from Daniel Grant, but that right there, Ollie de Rome somehow holding on to it. Air it out. Getting bounced. Spinning backside and taking it away, no issues. And third and final hit here at the King of Vert. Here we go, gapping out, alley-oop. Yeah, Oli de Rome, make some noise, please. Wow. So, some seriously technical riding from all of the boys here in the final. As I said before, I would not want to be a judge, but we are going to have the scores in very shortly. One more round of applause for all of our riders today, please, and the King of Vert. Absolutely killing it today. Uh, my name is Brenton Priestley. I'm uh, from Australia. I'm 25 years old. Hey, guys, I'm Ollie Derome, 28 years old from Montreal, Canada. Yeah, I'm Graham Burris. I'm from America. 
My name is Darren Grant. I'm 16 years old. I'm from Bangkok, Thailand. We're out here at Look at Leisure for Plastic Playgrounds 2014. You know, always makes the best rails, I guess, and um, there's, a, there's a ton of them in here, so it's, uh, it's really fun out there. This is my first time out of the States beyond the Philippines, so it's awesome. First time to England. I'm really enjoying it. And the uh, contest format here is unlike anything else we've seen before. For me, it's my first time in the UK, and it's the first time riding a contest where it's not a jam format. You actually have a full run, only on obstacles, and that's it. So it, I've had to do a little bit of uh, adjustment to do, but it's been fun. Oh uh, yeah, it's really good. We got all the different transfers. I've never hit a transfer from the pool, like kick at the pool. All right, so as the sun sinks slow into the sky, we are just going through, or we have, sorry, just going through the semi-finals. Three heats of four riders. We've taken the top two from that into the finals to give us the top six. Final time now. That's it. We're going to get into the finals without further ado. We got our top six. 15,000 cold hard cash up for grabs in this plastic playground final. Hope you guys are ready. Top six from 16 riders. Let's go at it. Make some noise. The finals here at Plastic Playground 2014. It's one and two. All right, he needs it here right now. Left foot forward to the inside of the lake. Heel side, front side, five. One and, a, one and a half spins. Yeah, a little bit frustrated, Francois. You can see the frustration as he drops the hands and the shoulders. He needs to brush that off. Nose press. Oh, and oh, manages nice. to pull it out of the bag. <laughs> Good recovery coming off the outside, all him back onto it and spinning his way out the other side. Full toe side, front side 360 transfer. Well done on that to, to land in that down transition of the fun box. So obviously, shaking it off and getting focused by the looks of it. Yeah, fully brushing it off, which is what we love to see, and you have to, and there is room for making things up here. Antoine can still pull it out the bag, which he definitely did on the handrail. Moving across to the unit transition obstacle. Front side lip, inside, 270. Right, into the pool. Backside on 80 to switch nose, spinning his way out as well, off the end of that ledge. So getting himself out nice and wide because he likes to come at this Henshaw with a little bit of angle, lip slide back. Two of the favourite tricks, those two tricks back to back, my favourites of the day from Mr Antoine Allo. What's he got for us on the pipe? Backside on the nose, a little bit of a hand touch, riding it away good. All right, make some noise, ladies and gentlemen. He needs you right now. Antoine Allo going at the kicker. Stalled out here, oh, back seven. Man. That is not part of everybody's backside 720. Anybody who does them does not do them like that. Stalling it out, full poke, full tweak. Wow, what a way to finish. Right at the start of the rotation to stop it at that point, twist your body that far, and then snap into the rest of it. Extremely difficult. So Freddie Carter is locked and loaded. He's straight off the dock into the first run or two in this finals of Plastic Playgrounds. Charging on his heel side edge for his first kicker hit. Backside 720. Too easy, clean landing, no touches of the water, no butt checking, exactly what our judges want to see. Then moving across, right foot forward, into our handrail, a little bit of a silhouette on him, but the tail press still looks good, tail press, back forward, then into a pretzel, 270 outs. Now he leads inside the cable, then back out to get a bit of momentum, backside, 360, onto the tail, then a pretzel, 180 outs. Riding away, left foot forward, slides it back round to right foot forward, ready for the back straight. He now comes into this back straight, setting his sights on the first of our obstacles on this run. It is the unit part take handrail. Ollie on, 180, no pass, 180 into 270, then 270 out, finishing off that full five body rotation. Coming in toe side, is it going to be the boost to grab, to poke, to hip transfer from Freddy? Yes, it is. Now he's got the pull, Ollie in a monstrous chest high Ollie onto a 180 tail, then back the other way into another 180. Now he's got the Henshaw, just a couple of hits away from the end of this first run. Oh, going for the transfer, it's a straight backside board slide, not what he was after. Now we're going to see him boost off the incline of the pipe. Then coming in on the inside, rotating the opposite way. Here comes Freddy Carter, boosting the biggest chrome load you have ever seen. Gets the grab, there's the backside one, there's the tree trunk landing. Thank you very much, Freddy Carter. An incredible run from him, incredible feat for him to make it through to the finals. There is still room for improvement. Meanwhile, Craig Ress 
the killer rail hitter on the water. Check this out, can spin nine in several directions, starting out right foot forward. Heel side approach. Heel front nine. Crazy how he does those, getting all corked out up the side, so aggro. Love to watch. A little bit of a butt check on the landing, needing to pick up his game, which he does right there. Oh, 180, tail press, switching it around to 50 50 the other way. That's it, front side 180 into the switch, front side 180. Clean transfer there on the fun box. Melon 3 poke, landing 50 50 to ride it away, right foot forward. So here's the rest bite, that back straight, that mini straight with no obstacles, but moving straight into his full run. Front side, lip slide, all the way to the end, then rotating oh, inside for a 270. Bobs it back round to left foot forward, he's going to kick a transfer. Backside three, the hard way, so tasty in terms of turning over, slipping out on your heels there. Front lip, nicely done from Graham Ress. Big old transfer for him. We've seen so many guys getting locked in on that transfer now. What's seemingly impossible may look to look easy by these boys. Stomping <laughs> on the tail right there on the handshaw. Solid backside three to tail press. 270 to front board right there on the pipe. Ladies and gentlemen, check this one out. Coming hard and fast at the kick and the finish out. Dale backside 180, throwing the handle over his head, getting back to his feet, not giving up on it at all. All right, James Windsor, well focused, young kid from the Sunshine Coast, Australia. Another one of those riders. Distinctive style on the water, distinctive style on the rails. Wasn't too impressed himself in that first run, but you will see him very focused. In, into this second round, second run. So there must be a little bit of deliberation from our judges for us to have this mess. kind of delay. That happens. These riders are pushing it, but no more delay. James Windsor on the water, starting off on the wave kicker. That crazy little hop into the kicker that he always does. Always ollieing just before and then cranking hard on the handle to make that backside seven happen. He, he does that so well, the pop in ollie heel side backside seven. Up on the nose. Nice, the front board stepping on the tail on that one. So front side tail run, I would call it. Pushing it across, spinning his way onto the fun box and going pretzel out 90 degrees. Stalling that rotation halfway through as well as he looks over his shoulder to spot his landing. Now coming round onto this super tech, super skinny, long old unit partake handrail. 180 to tail, then a full three out. Full, 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 solid landing. We go in the start of the rail, like it, banking out that tail, popping it up in the air, making it all the way to the end as he pushes himself back outside the cable. Oh, a little bit of hand waving, but boosting so, so big on that transfer. 270 onto the tail. That's it, stomping it, sucking it up. Not able to stay on all the way, but whatever, monster transfer. And the handshaw as well, schooling it across the top there. The pressure on the tail on the tail across the top. Front side 270. The front board across the pipe. One more trick for James Windsor, ladies and gentlemen. Check this one out. James going. Heel oh. back nine! <laughs> Here we go with Nico one lurk and bounds. Nice little indie grab slash to start out. Just for shits and giggles, heel side. Backside, 720. Clean 720 from that kicker. Check this out on the rail. Front side approach, front side 180 to tail. On the incline. And nice. Just popping it out, almost off axis to put, put the board back underneath him on the end of that rail. Holly on, front lip. Their hand 270 out the same way. Go front lip the hard way, pushing his tail up over the rail. Difficult to do that. Coming around into that handrail. Check this out, this is where he gets innovative, down that back end of the course. Big gap tail grab, into board slide, spinning his way front side out as well. Coming toe side. Ollie up over the kicker, into board slide, ollieing on the outside of the transition rail. Literally Spin up to your chest that ollie, how he does that, oh my. Big old back lift transfer, tidiest we've seen of the day. What a time to save that trick for, the finals of Plastic Playgrounds. Now he's coming in, right foot forward, toe side. 
Oh, there's a transfer. He was after, fully locked in the entire length. Now comes Nico right at us. Let's hear it for the Sherman on the water. Full 360 pop onto the incline. One more kick yeah. ahead. What's he going to be thinking about doing right now? Heel side. Backside seven. Oh, oh. just about getting out of it. And there you go. Wow, that heel back seven somehow pulling himself back up, back up out of the water. All he had in his head, no one else has stuck anything here. I need to cling on this one here. Live on this. What a head on young shoulders. Let's hear it for you now. All right, right foot forward approach, that heel side edge. Oh, <laughs> dude, heel side, back side 900. That like that, and it won't look like I've done anything. How about that? Coming in right before forward on to the flat bar, full 360 on. Oh, man, that almost ended in tears off the end of the flat bar, but big old rotation onto the rail into a press. Toe side. Still down, toe side, back side, 360 onto the tail to right away, left foot forward. Yeah, it was hard to see if he did push that over the rail into that 450 or if he just stayed in the 360 rotation. Cleanly transferred either way, around the back of the course. Ollie on the nose, backside 360 out. Clean nose press across that handrail. He has not faltered on that feature at all. And has owned that particular feature as well. Backside three into a locked in board slide, then rotating out. 270, 270 the opposite way. Kelly riding from Young Yonel. Into front board down that down rail. Looking at the Henshaw right now. Left foot forward approach. Backside spin into 50-50, pushing the pressure on the nose of his board, keeping it in control all the way through that rail. Two hits still to go for this young kid. Ollie on to switch nose, pushing it around to switch tail. What a tail press. One more hit. Yonel Cohen going fast. Left foot forward. Heel side front. Oh, heel front nine. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen. Yonel Cohen choosing to have a swim on the heel front nine. So there we go, ladies and gents. Clint Liddy, thank you for coming along to the UK for your first time, first event. It's been a pleasure. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. We're not done yet, but as far as the wake morning on the cable, we are done. Tell me what your thoughts are. Having been here, having done, having talked about it, having seen it. Absolutely amazing. I mean, the whole setup here, we have talked about it a couple of times throughout the day, the whole setup for the plastic playground here, what Liquid Leisure, it's not just for this event they've set it up. This setup stays out here. We, we get to ride this day in, day out, which isn't too bad. Bar some of the more gnarly transfers and whatnot that maybe we need to build up to. I would love to one day, but as you said, scary as a one thing. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the riders we've got here, they are professionals. They know what they're doing. They, they're ready for the risk, and they have risked everything today, without a doubt. So uh, for all you guys making your way over to the other side, I would just like one more round of applause for all the riders that were in the Give finals. Give it up, folks. Give Put it your up. Hands Put together. your hands together for everybody who's taken to the water so far today. That is not the water action done just yet. Thank you, the guys at home. This is for you particularly. Not just them, because they know what's up. They're moving their way over to join the party with the night jump contest that is just about to take place. We're moving into the finals over there. Clint, you get to relax and enjoy. That's it. I, I have absolutely enjoyed the whole day so far. I mean, that whole vert thing that was going on to see how far the boys are shooting out of that. The finals there, even the semi-finals there, was so intense and it was a whole load of fun. So oh, from start to finish so far, I've had a great time. And I mean, we still got the night jump, Nor Nautique London night jump still to come. Well, you get to enjoy the spectacle that is the Nautique London night jump. You will be joining me along with Johnny and Nick Coates on the main stage for the prize giving when we round things off. After dark, when this is all done, thank you very much, Clint. We'll see you over at the night jump. The sun has most definitely disappeared behind the horizon, and we have got all the other proceedings out of the way. We've got rid of the King of Birds, the Plastic Playgrounds, Wakeboard Park events, and now it's time for the grand finale, rounding things off here at Liquid Leisure with the Nautique 2014 London night jump. Johnny, it's been your first day here in an official capacity. How's it been for you so far? Well, pretty much just awesomeness after more awesomeness. Just big events, big riding, huge jumping, and uh, I'm pretty much ready to see the finale, the pinnacle of today. Yeah, Excited. we are rounding things off with the jump skiing, and that is going to take to the water right now.
can we have a cheer for the legend that is Freddy Krueger? Okay, so we're out super wide, super late. Freddy Krueger coming in. He's oh up! He's God. up! He's away! Oh my God! Hello! That is ridiculous! Absolutely Hello. ridiculous! Wow! Nice to see Igor coming up. Pleasure to watch. Thank you so much, yeah. Igor. Giving our man Rodrigo some props remaining, but we feel that that might not last. Come on, make some noise. Make some noise for Freddy as he comes past. Flying further, we feel 66.3 meters. So that is a bigger jumper than he laid down in the daytime today. All right, back to the action here. We have Freddy Krueger coming in for his second jump. He's flying in. He's up. He's up again. Well, that is another big jump. Was it as far? What do you think, Matt? I'm saying no. It didn't quite look. I mean, great connection, great distance. Well over 60 meters. I'm going to say 64 meters, but not knocking on the door of the 66. No. 62.3, we have it confirmed. So, still a massive jump, but the 66.3 jump. That is... is our leading jump right now. That is the leading wow. jump. One more jump left. But unfortunately for him and the rest of the field, one of the best jump skiers in the world right now, alongside the entire field that we have, still left to go. A former night jump champion, Ryan Dodd, is stood on the dock, taking it all in, realizing exactly what he needs to come up with. Here we go! Freddy, Freddy Krueger coming in for his final jump. Big up! He's up! He's up! It's, it's a big! Fire. It's oh, big again! Oh my! Can we hear it once again for Freddy Krueger? And here we go, ladies and gents. We have our very last skier, former champion Ryan Dodd on the water. Come on, make some noise for our last jumper. Flying, the flying Canadian. So as we mentioned earlier on, this guy has taken down this title before. He knows exactly what it's all about. He's taken down this title in such a form that has meant that he has a record for the longest distance in this very event, on this lake, on that ramp, in these conditions. Can he do it again? Can he produce the goods? Well, it was a long, old distance, but he's going to need it because we have a long, old jump from the legend that is Freddy Krueger. So now we have that very person that Freddy was talking about, former champion on the water, making his turn. First hit, Ryan Dodd coming in. Last jumper of the night. It's a big old He's boot. up. He's up. Oh. It's big. And at this point, we turn around, we don't know, we don't know. Either way, yeah, it's we're scr be close. scratching heads, scratching heads, scratching that's heads. close. All right, you just need to enjoy your jump, enjoy your time up there. Either way, Mr. Kruger. The magic figure mat is 66.3. Everybody, look to the splash eye zone. Okay, so keeping your eye on either one of these two scoreboards, 67 points. Splash eye to your left. Oh! oh he's good. clapping. He's still there. good. Oh, and relax for one more jump. For one more Point jump. Three. Three. All right, we are out wide with Ryan Dodd for his second penultimate jump in this final. He's oh. up! Oh, hello, we got a monster! <laughs> now we do the turn to Freddy. He you thinks reckon? Freddy's calling Freddy, it. Freddy's calling it. He thinks that may have a... I think it's going to be a matter of centimetres, that's gonna, for sure. We, we may well be knocking on 67, perhaps. Splash eye check. Splash eye check, right in the eye. Every loves, you check your left splash eye, I'll check the right. You so what's it going to be as Ryan Dot flies past for his third and final jump? Ladies and gents, we are reaching the crescendo, the climax of tonight's proceedings. Splash Eye's so excited, it doesn't know what to do. Oh, 65.1, it's shorter. thinking that, OK, none of us. We were thinking it was up there. OK, it's this is it, on. though, Matt. This is our last jump. Can we have some serious noise? Come on, make Ryan noise. Dodd. He's up. He's flying. Ooh. The winner, the king of Bird for 2014, Nico Van Lerkenberg! The prestigious title of this incredible event here at Liquid Legends, the very first ever, goes to the youngster that blew us away. Let's hear it for Jan Alcohol! Second place 
Thanks to those on the podium here at the Night Show. Once again, let's hear it for this man, Freddy Krueger! We have got to the end of what has been an intense day of water sports activity. Some of the best action you will find anywhere in the world with the jump skiing and the wakeboarding. Guys, it's been your first time here hosting at London Night Jump. Clint, first of all, your first time seeing an event over in the UK. How was it for you? I've had an absolutely amazing time, to tell you the truth. The crowd were awesome. The riders and the skiers, everyone that was on the water today doing their thing. Also, the freestyle motocross, just all on their game. Absolutely uh, incredible day. Happy to be here, all in all. Nick, you've done a few events with all of us here in the UK, but this was slightly different. You got to do the King of Vert alongside Clint. How was it for you? What stood out? I thought the King of Vert was amazing. The standard of riding was insane. One of the first quarter pipe events we've had in the UK, but a specialized quarter pipe events. And it was insane. We had international riders going high. Keeping the style in, awesome. Great event, pleasure to be here. And then wrapping things up here on the main stage on the Pope Lake at Liquid Leisure, Johnny, we got the privilege of talking over what was some incredible jump skiing action here at the London Night Jump. What stood out for you? Um, just the finale, uh, in the end, coming down to one centimetre before first and second. So we had Freddie out there on top, Ryan just behind in second place. Two people been here before, won it, knew it was going to be close, and uh, in the end, just a great final. And there we have it, yet more action sports added to this incredible day that Liquid Leisure hosts. We're going to be back bigger and better than ever before, I'm sure, in 2015. We hope you come and join us.